Hey man, they did it. They they really really did it. These Baltimore Ravens, boy, if if we know somebody, we sure know these Ravens and how they get down, how they operate. So the Ravens is official. They have claimed wide receiver Sammy Watkins, who was released from the Green Bay Packers. They claimed him on waivers. Boy, timing is everything. I tell you because. We literally just put out a question from subscriber video today, and I think it was my guy George. He asked a question in, within his question. He asked several questions, but one of his questions was, uh, you think the Ravens are going to pick up Sammy Watkins? And I said, well, I could definitely see them doing it. I could see them putting a claim in for him, but at the same time, I don't think that he, I, I think he will clear uh, through the waiver wire and whatnot, and I think the Ravens would much rather sign him as a free agent. But the Ravens were like, nope, we're not even going to take the risk. We, we, we can't take the risk of uh, him going to another team. And look at that. See, the, the, the kids that we got over here right now, they're not big fans of this move. But anyway, Ravens said we can't even take the risk right now of him going to another team. And I guess that proved to be wise because apparently the Giants, they put in a claim for Sammy Watkins as well. Now, um, initially I was wondering, like, man, they signed a wide receiver? To the practice squad, Mike Thomas, I'm like, okay, like, that move was, it doesn't move the needle or anything like that, but I was wondering, like, uh, okay, and I didn't hear about anybody missing from practice as for, at the wide receiver position, didn't hear anything about that, so then, then this comes out, like, they signing Sammy Watkins, or they claiming Sammy Watkins or whatnot, I'm thinking, like, oh, okay, well, all right, if they claiming Sammy Watkins, if, with Mike Thomas, they signed him to the practice squad, so he has no impact on the uh, the 53-man roster whatsoever. But with Sammy Watkins, with this move, you if you claiming somebody on a waiver wire, they have they go on the active roster. So I was wondering, like, man, what what is that for? But then found out that Devin Duvernay. Ravens wide receiver Devin Duvernay left practice today with a foot injury, and there is concern it could be significant. Per sources, he's undergoing tests, and Baltimore Ravens claim wide receiver Sammy Watkins off waivers. So that would explain the moves at wide receiver. And I, I don't even say this in a joking way, but Devin Duvernay is going to be out, especially if his, his injury is significant. He's probably going to be done for the year. That's what I'm expecting now, that he's going to be done for the remainder of the season. Playoffs or not, Devin Duvernay is going to be done. Um but with them signing Mike Thomas to the practice squad and Sammy Watkins, he's going to be on the roster. It seems like Ravens are doubling down just for injury purposes. Now, I like that they're doing that, but I wish they would have done it before this season even started. And this is exactly what we talked about before this season even started. The fact that you just can't rely on the receivers that you already have and, and the young guys and whatnot, because what if somebody gets hurt? Yeah, you end up in predicaments like this. And, of course, you, you don't want to go into a season thinking, oh, man, well, this guy's going to get hurt, that guy's going to get hurt, that guy's going to get hurt. But you want to have the highest quality that you possibly can. But anyway, um, that's the past. Uh, so Devin DuVernay, he figures to be out now. A lot of people thought that Devin DuVernay was injured during that Browns game. Because Devin DuVernay clearly did not look himself. He did not look like his regular self. He has been very, very indecisive, um, and he, he just looks like he's unsure of himself. Looks like he's been second-guessing a lot, and could it have been that an injury has him second-guessing like that? I, maybe, but he, he has not been looking Devin DuVernay-ish, um, but now maybe that's the reason. I wonder if it was one of those things where it got like re-aggravated, like it was an injury that he had already, and it just got a lot worse. Uh, in practice today or it could be something new I, I don't know I'm no doctor but I'm just I'm just gonna assume that Devin DuVernay unfortunately is out for the rest of the year and that is a big blow to the Ravens and I mean yeah we know the Ravens whole thing they don't use the wide receivers and whatnot and da 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 da, da. but Devin DuVernay being out that like takes away from you a receiver that you had a lot of people considering him maybe he was number one wide receiver but that, that time came and went so fast. Um, but that takes away from the receiver room. It's like you, your, your receiver room was already rough. Now it just got that much rougher. It got that much worse like that. Um, and then it takes away from the return game as well. Even though he hadn't been his normal return self, but that does take away from the return game as well. So, unfortunate. 
Very unfortunate for Devin Duvernay. Um, and man, the timing of this injury too. Oh, I, I feel for Devin Duvernay uh, just business wise because it seemed like. It seemed like the business was getting in the way this year with Devin Duvernay as far as what his price tag could possibly be. Now Ravens got all the leverage in the world, it seems, with Devin Duvernay. If they want to re-sign him, they want to sign him to an extension, they could point at the numbers and be like, oh, I don't know about these numbers, buddy. They could point at the injury and be like, oh, you ended the season like that, buddy. And they could give him something that's, that's slow. So... We'll see how it goes, but I, th I think Duvernay is going to be somebody that they end up wanting to keep around uh, just for his being a multi-purpose wide receiver, but we'll see. Now, as far as Sammy Watkins, back to Sammy Watkins. Um, I know there ain't going to be a lot of people too like, oh, yeah, we got Sammy. There ain't going to be nobody like that, but it can't get no worse. Ravens receivers can't get worse, and Sammy Watkins becomes one of the best receivers on the team, even when Devin Duvernay was here. Sammy Watkins becomes one of the best receivers on the team like that immediately. Immediately, right away. Literally right away. One of the best receivers on the team right away. Um, last year, it obviously didn't end on bad terms. Um, but again, like we talked about before, no, nobody expected him to be back after last year. Now, again, full circle. Full circle. That's why it's nice, and I know not every situation is the same, um, but it's nice to end stuff. Like, especially business-wise and what, No, actually, especially personal-wise But business-wise, too It's nice to end stuff on good terms Because And just really in life It's, it's nice to end stuff on good terms Because you just never know You never know When you may go back And not to say that you're going to be out here Using people or anything like that But you never know when you may need somebody You never know when somebody may need you You never know when um, You never know when you, you're going to have to Count on somebody else or an opportunity may present itself and you, you just never know what could happen. So that's why it's important uh, on a deeper note to just try to be good to people as much as you possibly can. Um, but in the business world, it's nice when you can end stuff on good terms, good standings and all that. Because that means you, if need be and if the opportunity presents itself, you'll have a way back in. You'll have a way back if, if you need it. And in this case, not that Sammy Watkins needs it, but Sammy Watkins is getting it. And he got to be like, man, I'm, go <laughs> I'm going from Aaron Rodgers, uh, Romeo Dobbs, and, and Christian Watson. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm going back. I'm a Florida Raven, baby. I'm a Florida Raven again. I'm going back. I'm going back home. Go be with Lamar. Go be with Tyler Huntley, Shamar Bridges, all them Florida Ravens. And then, of course, just the, the, the team itself. Um, but he goes from a team that literally has to do everything perfectly to get into the playoffs, that being the Packers. They got to do everything perfectly and get some help, I believe, to go into the Ravens uh, to where they ain't got much work to do to, um, to get to the playoffs. They still got to do work, but their road and their path is a whole lot easier than it was in Green Bay. And it's a little less cold in Baltimore, too, so you, you, you ain't got to worry about that as much. It ain't as bad. Uh, it's still cold, though. Still really cold. But I know Sammy Watkins probably like, yes, I, I, made, it. I made it out of there. Um, but no, good for him being back with the Ravens. And obviously the Ravens, they ended up needing him. Ended up needing him big time. Um, so, yeah. Uh, wow. He's he's really back. Like, it's, it, it, it's crazy to think about it. When I first saw it, I was just like, wow. That, um, yep, that is that. So, again, um, Devin Duvernay. Well, again, I'm, I'm expecting and bracing for the worst possible news it is with Devin Duvernay for the rest of this season. Um, I, I think everybody should be bracing for the worst type of news. Like, oh, Devin Duvernay is going to have to have season-ending surgery or something like that on his ankle or whatever the, the, the issue is. I, um, yeah, so... Anyway, uh, Sammy Watkins does reunite with Demarcus Robinson, and they got uh, they got history together in Kansas City. They both got um, they got playoff experience, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. So now, oh Deshaun Jackson, he does he? Uh, yeah, he got a little playoff, a little playoff experience, um, I, I believe. But now our wide receiver room: Sammy Watkins, Demarcus Robinson, Deshaun Jackson. James Prochet. 
see, look, the kids, they, they didn't like it. They ain't like that group. They started screaming when they heard that lineup. They was, I can't make this up. I can't make it up, man. But yeah, that's our lineup. Sammy Watkins, uh, Demarcus Robinson, Deshaun Jackson, uh, that, oh, sorry, James Prochet. And then if they call somebody up from practice squad, whether that be Shamar Bridges, I wouldn't be mad at that. Shamar, hey, Florida Ravens, Shamar Bridges. Uh, they got Mike Thomas now. Um, Benjamin Victor. I was like, man, something, man. But these are the Baltimore Ravens, man. Um, we all, me, you, everybody, we, we know this team. We definitely know this team. That's why I stuck. When stuff like this happens, it's like, it's, it's funny because it's like, that's so Raven of them. That's so Raven-esque. That's what they do. Um, but yeah, in this case, yeah, they, they, they did need it for uh, Devin Duvernay uh, and his injury just to, to cover it. Um, again, hopefully with Devin Duvernay, it doesn't end up being anything serious, but you know, you can already tell the way that this thing is headed. So like, I unfortunately expect uh, Devin Duvernay to be for probably the remainder of the season, playoffs and whatnot, unfortunately. You feel bad for him, man, but I expect him to be out.